What's up everybody, TaxRection7 here, and back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the single player commands mod, and what this mod does is it brings all of the commands from a server in Minecraft to single player. So you'll be able to change the time of day, spawn animals, give yourself items, change your survival mode to creative, and you know, all that sort of thing. So let me go ahead and make it full screen, and I will show you some of the features of this mod. So first off you can see it says single player commands 3.2 and then it gives a link to the single player commands mod at the bottom left corner when you first enter your world. But if you hit T, just like you would on a server, it'll bring up the chat box down here. And you go ahead and just do, say I want to change the time of the day, just type in time uh, night. And then there you go, it'll become night. And if you want to change it back to day, same thing, just time day and there you go it's day so say you want to change it to survival or to uh, creative mode what you would do is game mode wait I didn't type that right game mode um, creative and now it says game mode change to creative so now you can see I do have creative and I can fly of course, if you don't want to change it to creative to fly, what you can also do is just type in fly, and it'll say flying now turned on. Uh, this flying is a little bit different than it would be in creative mode, so there's like different style of flying. And again, you would just type in fly to turn it off. Now, to give yourself things, you can do say give um, 264. 64 I believe 264 is diamonds and yes it is so I gave myself 64 diamonds so you do have to use the um, the number of the item or you can also just do give diamond 24 and there you go now I have 88 diamonds so I'll go ahead and show you another thing is if you do um, insta mine so insta mine, oh, maybe it's instant mine. Yeah, there you go. Now it's instant mine now turned on, and you'll be able to destroy blocks with only one hit. So again, it's like having creative mode on, but you don't need to have it on. And one least one last thing I'll show you is I'll go ahead and spawn something. So if I do spawn, and let's spawn a slime. So just type in spawn slime. Okay, I don't have the correct game mode on. So if I do spawn pig, there you go. There's a pig and it spawned it. So that is pretty much single player commands. There is a lot of commands that this adds to Minecraft. It's like having over 100 mods in one. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these programs will work the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only things you're going to need to download is the mod itself. Now, I will be showing you how to do this both ways, which is the automated way and the manual way to install this. So to download the files, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. So you just want to scroll down to download automated installation and go ahead and click on preferred or, or alternate, whatever you prefer to do. So download from the first link if you're going to do the automated installation. But if you're going to do the manual installation, go ahead and download from the second link. And again, you can either download from preferred or alternate. So that is how to download the mod. So I'll go ahead and show you how to install it with the automated version real quick. So if we go ahead and open up this jar file, you can see here we can either back up the Minecraft jar and the worlds or just do neither. And then simply click on install version 3.2. And this will take a little while. And there you go, it says installation was successful and you go ahead and start Minecraft from here. So that is how to um, automatically install it using the installer. So I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar, my Minecraft jar again and I'll be back and show you how to install it the manual way. Okay, so if you want to manually install this, what you're going to do is come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left corner. Then you're going to go ahead and open up your roaming. Now open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. 
Now your bin we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open go ahead and open up the single player commands mod. And you do not want to put the world edit dot jar or the readme text into your Minecraft jar. You just want to put all the class files. So go ahead and click on the very first class file right underneath the world edit dot jar. Hold shift and then click on the class file before the readme text. So that will highlight these two class files. Now drag these into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Now click on the class file right after the readme text and again hold shift and scroll down until you can see the last class file and go ahead and click on that and that will highlight the rest of the class files and again drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not see this folder it's OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it. Select delete files then hit yes. And you want to make sure you always delete MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you, go ahead and you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar now. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. Now we're going to need to take our worldedit.jar and simply drag it into your bin. And there you go. That is it. Once you're done doing that, the you're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.